the simple succession of self-realized gurus and to all the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna again. Um, yesterday night, Gorgo uh, Vindamar, our channel, Gorgo Vindamar, almost Maharaj, soon to be, <laughs> suggested that I speak about um, Guru Tattva and how to recognize a guru. And I was thinking, well, gee, these people are all old devotees. They must have heard this millions of times. What are the symptoms, how to recognize a pure devotee? But then I was thinking there's so many uh, things in relation to that that are very interesting that you might not have heard. So I'm thinking about talking about that. Plus, I'd like to hear from you before I begin what you'd like to see incorporated into this morning's discourse of real, you know, urgent need for you and what you consider the urgent need of the devotees. Yes? Um, <clears throat> about Sadhu Sangha now, about what, what now? What? What now? What now, maybe the glories of some Vaishnavas that we're associating with now. Um. <laughs> Is that what you were referring to? Um, no, I put a uh, uh, sheet there of the uh, Guru Parampara, and I want to know why they're on the list, why we honor them, how they get on the list, and in the future, how does someone get on that list? <laughs> we got to go to New York tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> okay, that's very interesting. Here's his guru from from Swayam Bhagavan to Krishna to Brahma and so on. Yes, Prabhu? Some of the uh, now some of the members of the Sangha are children, they're still young. They were initiated by Shura Guru Dev, but what criteria should they apply to accepting a Shiksha Guru? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all similar. You're all asking similar things. Any last suggestion? Yeah, what do you suggest to new people? Same thing. What do you suggest to new people? Um, is anybody here not inspired for preaching because you think there's nobody to bring people to? Well, that's not even a question. Hmm? How, do we, how do you know who to recommend? For her? Hmm. All very deep questions. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, regarding this list, we sing in the morning, uh, you started? Krishna Hoy Teja Atra Mukha Hoy Krishna Seva Mukha. So there is a disciplic succession from Krishna to Brahma all the way down to Madhavendra Puri and then Madhavendra Puri to now. And there's a difference between the disciplic succession from Brahma to Madhavendra Puri and the disciplic succession from Madhavendra Puri down. The difference is that Madhavendra Puri uh, Goswami is the um, frame, <coughs> frame encore. He's, he is the embodiment of the sprout of love of God in Madhurya Ras and our Sampradaya. That is, he's the first one to manifest that. When he was uh, in his lila of leaving the world, he uh, was crying out in the mood of Radharani, um, Hey Mathurana, oh Krishna, you've left us and gone to Mathura, what will we all do now? And only uh, he understood it, Radharani understood it, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood it. There was no fourth person. 
Prabhupada and Gurudev said who understood that verse. So since then, then there is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who, um, gave, who introduced the path of Raghunuga Bhakti and then all of his followers, as we discussed last night from Srila Rupa Goswami, gave the specific process for that. So I asked Srila Gurudev back in the 90s, why are we singing to the previous ones since they can't give us what we want or we're not praying to them for what we want? So Gurudev said, we need to pray to them somewhat because they are the tree from which all the fruits of the other acharyas have come. I said, do we need to know anything about them? He said, a little bit, just because they're the beginning, they're the root of what we have now. So who's ever on this list? Well, Vyaste, you know, he's the literary incarnation of Krishna. Vyas means diameter. Diameter means it goes from one circumference of a circle to another. And it goes through, that central point is called the radius. Or well, the radius is what goes from the circumference to the center point. The center point is the Huh? What you said is right. Central point is the radius? Not. No. The radius is the center to the outside of the circle is the radius. Okay. All the way across is the diameter. diameter. So, <laughs> what goes from the infinite number of points on the circumference through the central point to the other circumference is called the axis. So Radha and Krishna are the central point. The extent of the ends of the universe is the circumference. And Srila Vyasa brought Radha and Krishna to the entire universe. Srila Gurudev said without Vyasa, everything would be nothing. Because all the Vedic literatures came from him, and even our Goswamis literature is coming from, is based on that literature. Um, and of course, Narada, you know. Narada is Madhu Mangal and Goloka Vrindavan. He's, um, then he expanded to Narada Muni, who has relationships on Ayodhya, Vaikuntha, Goloka Vrindavan. He discusses with Radhika, Lalita, um, Mother Yusoda uh, once saw Narada and she told her baby boy to bow down. She put her baby Krishna at the feet of Narada. And you know how parents make their babies bow down. And Narada was totally embarrassed because he knew that Krishna is God, but he didn't want to say anything and disturb Mother Yusoda. So he just accepted the arrangement. Brahma, of course, is the uh, secondary creator of the whole universe. He spoke personally to uh, Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu personally instructed him. He personally went to Vaikuntha and shook hands with Lord Narayan and saw his personified powers. Like you know, Krishna has powers, beauty, wealth, strength. So on, on uh, Vaikuntha, Lord Narayan has the same powers, not to the extent, but he has the six opulences. And they're all personified, like butlers, serving him. So we can understand there the uh, extent of the greatness, the qualification required to be a bona fide guru. Then, when we do come to uh, Lakshmi Pati Tirtha, who is the spiritual master of Madhavendra Puri, he is such a great soul that he was also accepted by Lord Nityananda to be his guru. Uh, as you may know, uh, when Nityananda Prabhu was young, he was living in the house of his father, Adai Pandit, in Eka Chakra. And an unknown pundit came and asked 
if their son could accompany him on pilgrimage. And Gurudev said that was probably Lakshmi Pati. Uh, so where are we? Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. So Madhavendra Puripad then is the god brother of Nityananda Prabhu, both having taken Diksha from Lakshmi Pati Tirtha. But Nityananda Prabhu, who is Baladev himself, who is Krishna himself, accepted Madhavendra Puripad as his Shikshaguru. 